welcome back to the channel turbo josh here if this helps you and you were looking for this information please consider subscribing we grow every day every little bit helps today i'm going to cover how to clean out a china carb i'm going to call it a chinese carburetor because out of everything that i had that was made in china or as a chinese carburetor they're sealed you can't take them apart like a car carburetor or like carburetors on big brands like Yamaha, Polaris, stuff like that. And I had issues where the Jeep, the mini Jeep, right there, and as well as the four-wheeler right there, we're not picking up fuel properly and we're not starting or running properly. And it's because your little needles and stuff and all the fuel feed holes and orifices in the carburetors are either clogged, one of them's clogged, you have a clog of some type that you need to situate. So when I say a Chinese carburetor, this is a Chinese carburetor. Majorly, we explain it as a Chinese carburetor because the bowl, one of the first options you'll take off is right here, and you can't. This one is fixed to it. There's no way to take this one off. As well as this carburetor, this is on the mini Jeep that we have, the uh, 125cc three-speed semi-auto mini Jeep. And uh, right there, you can see the bowl. It is sealed. This is a sealed carburetor. It cannot be taken apart. So the answer to this question and how to clean this carburetor is to take the carburetor out, which is like this twister right here, which is your throttle cable. It lifts a needle to give throttle, stuff like that. And uh, you'll basically want to take the carburetor off, take your idler needle out, and uh, any and every hole that you can get a hold of, you just want to spray as much carburetor cleaner in there as you can until dirty carburetor cleaner comes out, which is what ends up happening. So when I cleaned this one, I sprayed every hole that I could find with carburetor cleaner, and you'll see dirty fluid coming out other orifices or other holes, and then you'll see it go clean, and that's how you know it's clean. So I ran about a can of carb cleaner through this one because a friend of mine was like, oh, that's a Chinese carburetor. You can't clean that. You need to buy a new one. And I said, no, it can be clean. So you have openings as well that are behind the air filter inside the open neck where the air filter attaches to. There's holes in there you can spray carb cleaner into. I believe there's two in the idle screw area as well as um, there's one on the back side there and the bottom side as well. And you can also spray carb cleaner into that hole. That fixed that carburetor entirely. This one I took off as well and did the same thing. There's an idler screw on the other side you can't see. And when you take this intake boot off, there are two holes there as well you can take apart and that will also allow you to spray carb cleaner in there and basically empty the can into this one as, as well and this one you could start up and it would put over but you would give it throttle and it would just die out so that's another way and there's also the throttle screw up there with a needle that goes into it i sprayed down in that hole the two holes inside the intake hole area and basically emptied a, a can of carb cleaner in there and i could see dirty fluid coming out the side so that's how i knew that i had at least cleaned this out majorly and then once you've actually sprayed carb cleaner in there, a lot of the carb cleaner actually stays in the fuel bowl. So when you actually do start it back up for the first time after cleaning with carb cleaner, it will suck up the rest of the carb cleaner and clean out the rest that you actually couldn't get access to in which that fixed the four wheeler perfectly. It started being able to pick up fuel and spraying fuel properly as it should, as well as the mini Jeep. And uh, just two examples of Two Chinese sealed carburetors that I had access to that needed work and needed cleaning that actually did work for me. And I was able to get them running. I already cleaned them, so I'm not going to give an example by taking them off, though I wish I would have made a video then or done it for you that way in order to better explain this. But I wanted to do a video to at least give you an idea. It's not rocket science. If you're already under the situation where you're looking up this type of video for cleaning a sealed or Chinese carburetor, then you're mechanically inclined enough to do the rest. It's not going to be rocket science for you because you're already familiar with how to take these things apart. If you have any questions, comment them down below. I'd be happy to help. Again, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like the channel. It doesn't take much. It's just one click to help support. And most people underestimate how much that really helps these days. Um, again, if you're here, it's probably because you're having issues or you want to solve the problem. And like me, you don't want to solve the problem just by throwing more money at it and buying a new carburetor when technically you don't have to. Carburetors are metal. They don't go bad. They're sealed units most of the time, even if you have to take them apart. All of their components are protected from weathering, so you shouldn't have issues with cleaning them out and getting them back to function. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.